Jersey! That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? Austria. All right. Well, excuse me. Let's put another shrimp on the bobby, huh? <laughs> Let's not. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. Welcome back to Bruce with Beck. I'm Dan. And how the hell are you today? I've got some shrimp on the bobby and I'll foster's right here. My accent is terrible. You can, you can criticize me if you want. Uh, that ain't a knife. This is a knife. All right. Uh, yeah. Shout out to my uh, buddy RJ who put that in my head a long time ago. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, excuse me. Good day, mate. That was the one part of the of the thing I was missing from Dumb and Dumber. I'm sorry. I'm out of it. Um, all right. How the hell are you? Um, we're going to drink a Foster's today. Ran across the street. Was out of beers. We're, uh, you know, in, yeah, just out of beers. So I had to, had to find something to review today. Uh, hopefully you're well. Uh, let's get into this one from Foster. It's, it's Carlton and United Breweries is actually... And I just let now of seeing this, I thought it was Foster Brewery. Carlton and United Breweries out of, I'm probably butchering this, Abbotsford, Victoria, uh, Australia. Uh, there's another one, just like Red Stripe, didn't know that brewery. And Carlton and United Breweries do, is the indeed brewer of Foster's Lager. Uh, interesting known fact. Uh, says the ABV for this beer varies between 4 and in Europe, 4.9 in Australia, and five on the Richter, tap in in the US. So gotta get that straight. Uh, first brewed by William and Ralph Foster in Melbourne uh, in 1888. Apparently it's still brewed exactly the same way today. Uh, with its Australian her heritage, Foster's truly embodies the Australian no worries attitude to life. Kinda like me, man. Uh, it's an easy drinking lager that is perfectly balanced with moderate vanilla tasting notes and no hard edges or bitter aftertaste for perfect refreshment. Perfect. Uh, just a heads up. So on the can it says it's brewed with uh, water, barley malt, uh, yeast, corn syrup. Uh, not high um, fructose corn syrup. They make sure you know that. It's uh, dextrose and maltose. And it just says hops. Um, I looked it up on Google, and this is straight from Foster's UK, but there you go. Foster's UK, I guess, would be different. It says glucose syrup and hops and hops extract. So I'm just going to guess this one was brewed with just straight hops because that's all it's saying. Uh, it doesn't say anything about hop hop extract. So, you know, leave in the comments if you know better, but that's that's what it says on the can and then the official statement from there. So uh, anyway, hopefully you're having a glorious day. Um, you know, I'm ready to drink a, fo a Foster's. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. All right, let's do this. Let's pour it. All right, I asked the usual favor. This is gonna. This is gonna be a, a creamy one. Will you please, in it, boomerang the hell out of that like and subscribe button? If they still use boomerangs in Australia, I believe they do to play. Uh, you know, Australian rules rugby. So you, you can crush the hell out of that like, like and subscribe button. But that way we can sit down with good Australian beers anytime you want. All right, all right, all right. Laid back attitude today, Australian beer. Thank you so much, like and subscribe. All right. I feel like McConaughey would do well in Australia. I'm sure he's already gone there, so. Um, yeah, 1888 to 1907, original Foster's Brewery. There you go, 1888 to 1907. Apparently it's it's different now, but got a nice uh, three fingers ahead. Uh, I'm gonna let it cool, calm down for a second. Uh, it does look tasty so far, and then we're gonna start drinking. One, one moment. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> Good day, mates. So terrible, but I'll always go in theme, always go in theme. Otherwise, what the hell am I doing on here? Just boring, uh, boring. I'm not going to put shrimp on the Barbie. Um, all right. That looks pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Not going to lie. So let's get the aroma check on this. Uh, see if I get these vanilla notes they're talking about. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, basically smelling barley and, and just straight, like, earthy, uh, kind of grassy hops. Maybe a little. I detect a little bit of the, the corn syrup just to give it that little sweetness. All right, but smells pretty damn good. All right. From Carlton and United Breweries, Foster's Lager. Let's get it. Uh, uh, let's see. What are they What are they saying? I'll, I'll start you for cheers. 
She is, mate. Uh, at the break, I'll come. I'll come up with that. Anyway, no words. Just Australia today. Fosters, let's roll. Mmm, that's pretty good. It's got kind of like a nice, uh, rounded, just I'd say subtle, like very subtle caramel sweetness to it. That's pretty good for a, for a lager. Um, I'd say uh, it's got that little sweetness to it, mouthfeel. I don't know, 20, 20, 20 out of 100, so pretty light, but still just a little bit more than like, you know, a Coors Light, Bud Light, any of those. Um, if I didn't know what percentage this was on the Richter, what would I think it is? No, nah, probably I, I, I would have guessed five on this for sure. It has, you know, you can tell it's not a four percenter. It just feels a little bit heavier than that, but not so much that you would go into a five point five or six. So, tastes about what it is. Um, yeah, this is uh, going down nice. Um, again, leave in the comments what you think of this. What thoughts on it? If you've had it, uh, what or what you're drinking right now as we drink together. Uh, anything you would like to put, you know, current mood, vibes, you know, who you're currently dating. That'd be awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see that. All right. Um, I'm going to go to a break, look at some comments, see how to say cheers in Australia. Maybe it is just cheers. Because, you know, well, I think it's, no, I'll, let, let me just look it up. I'm going to uh, drink more. All right. Cheers, mate. See how that lands. Boom shakalaka. Gotta love the uh, 24 ounce oil can. Um, by the way, a couple things. Uh, as I said, cheers, as I figured, that is, that Australia, you know, I'm, I'm an idiot. You can tell me I'm an idiot. It says, uh, Aussies use cheers in a number of instances to say thank you in celebration when drinking and to say hello and goodbye. Get ready to hear cheers, mate. A lot. No matter how strange sounding these Aussie slang terms are first, you will inevitably adopt them in no time. Uh, and one more note, it says, in Australia, popular, it's popular for a group of friends, uh, excuse me, mates, to call out, cheers, big ears, cheers, big ears, as they raise their glasses, followed in response by, same goes, big nose. Uh, there isn't much meaning or historical significance behind the phrases other than it's funny and it rhymes. That's all we need. Funny and rhymes. Uh, but there you go. There's a little background on it. Mate, cheers. Uh, can't believe I didn't and just hear uh, Thor saying that. So, um, all right. But yeah, I uh, there was one comment I enjoyed from Foster's. Uh, he rated it a four and a half out of five. Nice little grade. And he said, it's a hot one. It's a hot one today. Time to crack a tube. Never heard of a tube. Heard it called an oil can, but... There you go. All right. Let's keep drinking and let's give it a grade. Cheers, mate. <sighs> no delicious. Hello, friends. Makes me want to say hello, friends. Jim Nance in Australia. Hello, friends. Good day, mate. Uh, so stupid. Sorry. All right. Uh... What do you think of that, Joker? Is that bad? <laughs> All right. So from a store down to hell no, I definitely get um, clean, crisp, grainy. Um, I forgot to say that. Clean, crisp, grainy. Do I really get the vanilla? I just kind of get like a little earth, little subtle sweetness. I got a big caramel note at first that kind of is not there as much anymore, but... I'm gonna have to buy, get, start getting some uh, Fosters more more often. I, think I got this 24 ounce for 284. You know, obviously before tax for a can, so pretty pretty good. Uh, cheers, mate. So clean, grainy, uh, very nice, very nice. Anyway, 
So, not much, I'm not really getting the vanilla note down the way. Maybe after the first, like, when I cracked it, but, I don't know, I don't know. Stow it down to hell no. Let's give this one. Again, for a lager, I'd absolutely give it a solid. But against all beers, against all beers. Um, you know, I gotta start giving lagers better, like, you know, a taste is, I'm like, you know what? I would drink that almost every day. There's certain ones where you're like, you'll rate it higher, but you're like, I couldn't drink that every day. And it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't quite make sense that way. If you know, if you follow, you follow me, um, you know, I'm going to give, I'm actually going to give that a strong, it's fine. So, I give it an 85 out of out of 100. It's is this is a nice lager. Got some earth, got some sweet. Very nice. I like it. Again, I haven't had a Foster's in a while, so it's kind of kind of blowing my mind, man. Cheers, mate. Uh, <laughs> cheers, big ears. Same goes, big nose. All right, let's end this. Let's end this. 85, I'm going to give this very well-priced um, lager. Gr always cool can. I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to start buying these more often. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. So leave in the comments what you think. And, uh, yeah, all I ask for is a nice little like and subscribe. Even though I can't stop staying cheers, mate, and a shrimp on the bobby today. Um, so, all right, good talk. Cheers, mate. See ya. Peace.